down there. And we're live. <laughs> and we are live. Just want to make sure it goes to YouTube. Oh, man, you have 30 seconds. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> so I knew I, I was said, cutting it close, but I was like, I got to do all the I things. I said that. You literally had 30 seconds. So <laughs> it's like I was watching the countdown in StreamYard. I was like, ma'am, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh, I gotta go to the comments so I can read what people say ahead of you. <laughs> oh. All righty. Oh, Deja's here. Deja, hi, how, how are you? Are you? <laughs> She's the champion. She read it today, too. <laughs> no. I said it shit about 10 minutes ago. But in my defense, I've read all three of them. So, major <laughs> points for me. <laughs> Hi, Elizabeth. How are you? So if I feel out of breath or, you know, if I look like I'm perspiring, you it's feel because out I of am. Because <laughs> <laughs> we would able to be able to tell that you're out of breath. <laughs> you would have to tell us. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's no different than me being on, like, a hella amounts of caffeine. So, see, look, <laughs> like me and Deja, we know where it's at. <laughs> Hi, Christine. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Okay. <laughs> I was literally running around my house. My cat's just like, what the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Check running, calm down. <laughs> oh. Hi, Shannon. <laughs> All right. No, I'm so settled. upset like because it was it's so weird because normally I have a physical copy of the book to like hold up or do my post-it notes and I don't. Oh. Okay, let me just tell you, like, I first started reading these books probably, like, Saturday. So, first of all, anyone who did attempt to read all three and managed to do it, like, high five to you. I know that they're short novels, but if you're anything like me, it takes me forever and a day to, like, sit and read. Like, it's a physical struggle a physical for book. me. <laughs> <laughs> but we did it, if you did. If not, you know, still high five to you for finishing the book. <laughs> <laughs> but I've got to say, I would. I was also very nervous to. Um, oh yeah, Elizabeth. Yeah, I was yeah, nervous was, to read these. <laughs> she was saying like, um, "No kitty couture," but yay, the series is okay. <laughs> yeah, see, like I love like the romance genre, so I'm like I'm obviously like more gravitated to the romance genre. But I feel like she writes great romance, and no matter what series she's writing, so oh, it's yeah. like even if you're reading a cozy mystery. Um, like you're getting like a romance story, like even though, yes, it's more angsty in the cozy <laughs> mystery, but you know, at least we get some action on page in these suspense romances. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. These things are like, this is my first ever Harlequin intrigue. I think Harlequin, anything other than like, I think Gina Showalter, but I'm not sure I'm going to count that as like Harlequin, Harlequin. Um, well, it, it could be Harlequin, like publishers, but this is like their specific category lines. Yeah, exactly. So this is my first one ever, and I loved all of them. Like I didn't know, like reading book one, I'm like, oh my gosh, the brother in this book, they're not going to be able to top it. And then they did the second book, and I'm like, oh dang, she did <laughs> okay. it. And I was like, there's no way that I'm going to like this guy as much as I like the first two. And then I start reading this one, I'm like, I think I love him the most. <laughs> I was just like, I don't know. I was just, I'm so conflicted. <laughs> oh, first Harlequin, first Harlequin, nice, nice. nice. Yeah, so I'm with I'm with Shannon. I so I didn't I didn't know if I would have time to read uh, the first two, so I just read uh, Shadow Point Deputy. But then um, I finished like early today, like around my lunch. So I started reading um, the Sheriff Under Fire one. I think that's the first one. Federal Agent Under Fire. Federal. Yep. And so, yeah, I read that one, or I'm That's about one. I'm about two thirds of the way done, I think, based on my reading speed on Kindle. Um, I think I it said I had like an hour and twenty minutes left. Okay, yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Thank Shannon. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Thank you. I love romance. This is my first Harlequin. Nice. Yes. I will go back and read the first two. They are so. Hi, good. Alicia. Hi, Alicia. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but so yeah. I really, I mean, I just, I love, I, I loved them. I mean, of course, like, are we surprised that I would rate, like, a Julia Lindsay five stars? Five stars. Like, no. Each one. It wasn't even a question. <laughs> it's like, I'm sorry. It's just, we're not we surprised were at all. <laughs> fan freaking tastic. And I think, like, the, 
the steamy level got into like infinitely higher. So don't go yeah. back thinking the steam is going to be the same. It's just not. It's not. But it's, it's there. It's definitely like situational. Like she makes it very realistic oh, yeah. of like when like the sexy times will happen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, this is probably like a thousand and first Harlequin. <laughs> Read lots of Harlequins, but not many intrigues. Oh, yeah. This has opened like a door wide open for me. I was like, I feel like I want to read these all the time now. They were, I mean, at least the suspense one, because let me just yeah. tell you, the suspense was real friends. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it's like, it's like with the cozy mystery, like there's a certain level of suspense. But when you get into like, this is kind of like a step above, it gets like, there's a couple of instances in these books where like the scenes are a little bit like darker than it would be oh, in Coast yeah. Mystery. And that's just because of the genre. <laughs> There's a rating under five for Julianne. Um, I've never heard There's of it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't know what this rating is. <laughs> <laughs> under five? Read it yeah, in a day. Yeah. yeah. If yeah. I didn't go to the grocery store, I would have finished it earlier than 10 minutes before the show. But I did need to get food for the week. And surprise, for anyone that has a fr uh, fries in their area, it's senior day. So if you have parents that are older, get it. Get it. <laughs> it was steamier than I expected. Thought it would be um, inferred, not actual anything. <laughs> I mean, did we get actual anything? Because there's a post-it note that said, come on. <laughs> We didn't get actual, uh, the actual scene, like actual, um, yeah. penetration. There you go. But there was, Just go like, with there, it. We there was a scene. <laughs> that I, yeah, exactly. It's like, these are already marked, not safe for children. So, um. Get your kids off of here. <laughs> <laughs> we got the foreplay. Yes, we got the foreplay. I it mean, he's cool. very, he's very talented yeah. with, uh, certain appendages. <laughs> um, I did give it three and a half. It, I feel like I committed blasphemy. <laughs> Deja, how could you do yes, this to us? Hey, Bianca. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have to tell you for any of you cat people out there, Bianca found like a crazy cat lady monopoly. And you have to look it up because it's freaking amazing. <laughs> a monopoly. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, we're just kind of, Bianca, we're just kind of getting into it. There's a, like, um, not really too heavy into spoilers, but I know Bianca didn't get a chance to read it. So she just wanted oh, to stop no. and say hi. <laughs> and then once we get into the spoilers, she's going to head out. I mean, we can keep it, we can keep it pretty spoiler free. I will say, so again, I don't want to brag. I did read all three. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to brag. But let me mention again that. I read all three. <laughs> no, but in the first two, like the character in the character descriptions, because I was reading all of those. Um, hey, Stacy. Hey, Stacy. Um, <laughs> yeah, and the character descriptions in the first two, you knew who the killer was. So, reading this one, reading the character descriptions, I thought I would, I knew who it was, and then like they're with these people. <laughs> I mean, that's that a great fantastic. way to get started. <laughs> you know, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to read it. But yeah, this one, like, even though the character description, um, they had each of the characters, they didn't actually call <laughs> out the, <laughs> I wouldn't say I, w I, I was shocked, to be honest with you. But anyways, um, but yeah, this one didn't actually <laughs> list out who the killer was. So I was literally guessing until the end. I'm like, I have no yeah. clue who this person is. Yeah, I don't even know who to suspect. Like my, it wasn't a cozy mystery, so everyone I met, I couldn't make a suspect. So I was just like, I'm very, con I'm very confused. Yeah, but I, I did like want to mention that in this book, um, there really wasn't an, a whole lot of characters. I mean, we have our two main protagonists, and we have his brothers, like the sheriff and the sheriff department. Uh, other ca oh, characters yeah. were mentioned, but really, it's like the main characters, and Me then. Too the protect or the antagonist, you know, the, the people who are after killed. her and trying to kill her and stuff. So it's like, really, it's, you know, I was, we really didn't, there was the thing about cozy mysteries is that there needs to be a red herring. And it just means that um, the author purposely puts things to mislead you from who the real killer is. So there was a lot mm -hmm. of characters in that instance, just because of the genre. But in this one, it's mm -hmm. kind of like, it's gotta be a mystery to the end. <laughs> oh, it was. yeah. Cause the first, I mean, the first book, was oh my gosh why am i like i see this is why i can't read books that aren't like the de next day um oh virginia <laughs> <laughs> 
But yeah, in the first one, we find out who they are. I can, I know the person's name. I just can't think of, I'm mix. I've read them too close together. They're all blurring together. So I lied. I can't help you out anymore. I'll just stop. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, okay. So Deja thinks virgin heroes are there. She's over it. I felt like the murder was too, like, I don't know. I didn't like who ended up being the murderer and their reason. Yeah. Um, I mean, this is, like, getting into, like, spoilers. So, like, Bianca. Close your ears, Bianca. Close your ears. Mute us. Uh, but, yeah, it's, like, um, I, I, I just really felt like it was kind of, like, oh, this person was doing it. But, like, in the span of the book, I mean, because it's not a long book, like, at all. So, mm -hmm. it's, like, there's really, I mean, she worked at, like, the state or like the minuscule min building. building so it's like there really wasn't any I wouldn't say like background to say like this the senator was the one like doing it or like there was there was like I said there, like there's no red herrings to see like mm, yeah why this why this person would be doing that but like it just like it's just explained at the end like as soon as like the killer like kidnaps her obviously and she <laughs> yeah. was, she we was just like I'm doing it for this reasons and I'm like <laughs> <laughs> um, I was disappointed it was the trope of virgin heroine and cat hero. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I took my headphones out. <laughs> I was like, everyone talk about the back. killer so then we can give her a thumbs up to come back. <laughs> Honestly, when you like into the romance, I feel like there are tropes that, you know, I don't really mind this trope. I, I, there's really no um, trope in romance that I typically like don't reach for. Um, Unless it was like Daddy King tropes, but then I find like if I read them by a certain author, Daddy King is fine. <laughs> you get all up but, in it. <laughs> but it's like I don't get. I try not to get too hung up on uh, like tropes like that. But um, yeah, I feel like um, if you read the yeah this, I'm like I because I'm you know part way through the first book, so I don't want to give any spoilers for that one. So I just. <laughs> But I mean, I, of course, I'm going to say like, I love this book. So oh, yeah. <laughs> I very much enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah. I felt and, like, like it spoke to me. <laughs> oh my God. And I even said what I liked about like reading it on Kindle on my phone. I like, I like doing the highlights in the comments and then it can go directly to Goodreads. <laughs> oh, I did say that. I need to read them. I was afraid that you were going to tell me who the killer was. I'm like, I don't know who it is. I have no suspects. <laughs> See if you read too many tropes like in a row like that, then yeah, it can be um, can be tired. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like it didn't make sense to me. And I thought it was lazy how he just explained it at the end. And I was like, huh, that's lame. <laughs> that's really like in suspense. Like if they're especially with these, uh, like the Harlequin, um, she says sorry, Julia. <laughs> <laughs> there's only um, especially with the the categories, there's only there's a certain it's very how do I want to say this? It's very outlined when you write in um, oh, yeah. categories. It's like there are certain things you have to do and a certain like page number or word count that you have to you stick have to. to. Mm -hmm. So there's like really not a lot of quote unquote explaining to do like instead of like just at the end where it's like, boom, here you go. <laughs> I've, read, I've read a lot of suspense romances where it's just like the killer is literally like just telling everybody like they're profound brilliant plan as there there are rules as yeah. they have kidnapped like typically it's the female protagonist that they've kidnapped yep. and are, are gonna kill her and he's just like running his mouth telling everybody his grand plan <laughs> and it's just like y'all know like you're just wasting time the sheriff or the cops are gonna come and get you like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think even more focused on intensity of suspense yeah. over the whodunit. Yes, for sure. There are there were a couple of, um, and I've made notes in um, the Kindle app with categories. Yes, uh, of like I was like, oh, that scene was a little intense. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Especially, um, it was like it was. Um, I find it fascinating to read parameters of different imprints on the website. Yes. There is like there's certain okay. Oh, Bye. should we give her a thumbs up? Maybe she can join. Are we spoiling anymore? I, I, we're, I think we're going right into spoilers. Honestly, got it. It's, got it. True. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's hard to talk about, you know, why you like or dislike a book if you don't get to talk about spoilers, you know. So true. True. Uh, <laughs> so bye, bye. Bianca. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Next week. <laughs> Maybe the category suspense romance aren't for me because I loved her writing as usual. Oh yeah. Um, 
Oh yeah, for sure. Like if you, um, if you want to try like a different um, suspense romance author, try Sandra Brown. She's really great. You should, mm -hmm. I think I did buy you Chill Factor. Chill Factor. <laughs> Start with Chill Factor. Don't ever read Breath of Scandal. We get it, Jen. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying. <laughs> Don't you just have to embrace the formulaic and cozy romance? Yes, absolutely. I mean, there is, I mean, it. it is what it is kind of thing. And, mm -hmm. um, and Sarah will tell you, um, cause she's, like she said, she's read a thousand and one, uh, category romances and they're all kind of formulaic like that. And they always have to be. Well, and with the interview, um, last week with Julianne Lindsay, she even said it, she was just like, there's a formula that you have to kind of stick to and write to, and there's not really much room that you can wiggle around in. Um, that's very, that's very, so, true. Yeah. hi Brie. Brie. A lot of action <laughs> and danger. Yeah, for sure. It's like, they're always. <laughs> agree so spoil away there's always um there's always some element of danger like every time they like that you feel like they're like sitting down and able to catch their breath something else Something's is gonna happen, gonna happen. It's, it's not gonna stop you know so they're always literally on the run mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but i just but i just didn't like those things and yes i have chill factor <laughs> i was like i think i literally bought that for you <laughs> Yes, their channel is amazing. If you want, like, you know, the 411 on the category romances, mm -hmm. definitely check out Sarah's channel. Got it, got it. Son, you need to lay down. Okay, so let <laughs> He's me. Like, You're the toy, Mom. <laughs> no, he cannot play. He's been favoring his legs. So get to lay down. Oh, poor lay son. Down. Yeah, he's not. He's not. Tell him Auntie very... says happy birthday. Belated oh. birthday. I know it's been about a week. Do you hear that? Auntie Jenkins, a happy belated birthday. He's like, what? He's like, does that mean you're gonna throw my toy? No, I just no. said happy belated birthday. <laughs> yeah. He's right here. He can't really stand up all the way. Right oh, it's okay. Like, Jack tried no. to get close to me and then I went to go pick him up and then he knew it, so he ran. Right He's a cat no, like he, that. <laughs> he doesn't want to lay down. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's hard for like especially when his leg is hurting him because we don't have the kennel for him anymore. Like oh, he yeah. it's so hard for, to tell him to like lay down and stay there because he just wants to like run around and blah blah, blah. <laughs> yeah. oh from alaska oh thank you him how that. are you i think oh you gosh. did mention one time you're from alaska maybe now i want to know like how far up do you have like the midnight sun maybe later shannon maybe later <laughs> i'll try he's definitely going to be on my pod of picture of the day um because yeah i got about like 180 pages into this book and I, at one point like I literally stopped and I go I feel like this book is written just for me and I was like oh yes. dedication on this one and then I go to the front page and I was like oh oh and it goes dedicated to cat ladies you are my people and I'm like oh my god she didn't even know me and she dedicated this book to me that's so sweet <laughs> <laughs> you're like yes so, so spoiler like, alert literally friend. like page nine where our uh, female protagonist she's like here kitty kitty and she's getting food for the strays and i'm like literally jen jen 100 percent, 100 percent, 100 percent. as soon as she said here kitty kitty i'm like we are going to be best friends <laughs> so freaking funny so um a couple like that was literally my first highlight i was just like this is so jen <laughs> and I love how you text me uh, later and she was, or you sent me a Snapchat. Snapchat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dedicated to cat ladies. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so that's when it all goes wrong. Yes. Like, she's like, wait, like something's happening. And then she like <clears throat> that one, uh, that one guy was wearing the deputy jacket. So she was like, I can't trust the police. And I'm just like, oh my God. <laughs> I know. <laughs> she's like, I was like, yeah. <laughs> She's like, well, everyone, everyone, she's trying to do this herself. She's trying to stay on the run. She's trying to stay in like crowded areas so she doesn't get, you know, like killed because she saw things. And I was like, yeah. oh no, this is going to be bad. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm going to love this. I book. was looking for it, but oh. it was hidden on one of the pages with like all of the copyrights. And so I missed it. So I'm like, when I started to have that feeling, I'm like, there's got to be a dedication. Because the first few that I had on like an audio book, they, they would have, or not audio book, um, ebook, they would have like a separate page for what the dedication was. So I'm like, there's got to be one in here. So then I went hunting. And I was like, I love this so much. <laughs> Doing pretty good. Losing light shortest days about five oh hours. Oh my gosh! Oh, that sounds crazy. I don't know how you survived that. 
I wouldn't be able to. First time you're, huh? Oh, Hi, grandmother. <laughs> you're a hoop, as my grandmother would say. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best. <laughs> what I, was it? Was it also me that I thought it was weird that the police department for the city had only like six people? <laughs> Well, and they had an easy, quick <laughs> access to a sniper. That just doesn't happen. Technically, I think the first because... brother is in the FBI. So yes. he does have, like, secret <laughs> access to the extra people. So yes. if, if you had read book one like me, <laughs> <laughs> not to toot my own horn. Well, in this book, it does say that one of his brothers is in the FBI, But too, they mentioned so that, like, like, way late. And it seems like it's, like, hidden underneath it. I'm, thank goodness that Julianne Lindsay told us last week where she's just like oh yeah this is book three and I'm like wait what now <laughs> wait what and I was like it's driving it's like literally hurting my soul to I not feel like read. it would kill you a little bit that's why I didn't want to tell you like I'm pretty sure that I think I'm gonna make the effort to get them all done because you asked me last night but I had a raging headache headache so I was like I don't know and then I just went to bed super early and I woke up super or I went and then I woke up super early so then I was like let's do this yeah I love that okay. they I love that they had like six cops. But I was also a little miffed that he believed her more when he saw the guy in the costume cop replica outfit. Um, do you mean like he uh, believed her immediately? There was some doubt uh like um like in the didn't... beginning, but as soon as he saw the jacket, like he knew it was he knew it wasn't real. I think more if I'm reading it right that she was miffed that Cole didn't trust her when she was like someone in the deputy's office legit has this jacket like I feel like he should have given her slightly more credit and then like told her brother going yo we've got some joker out there with a jacket that's tricky enough that if you're not paying attention get on this <laughs> get, get I'm, on I'm guessing it. that would be my, my well I was I was actually you know I was actually like I liked that he didn't believe her because like no one no, wants to true. believe that the people that you work with are not who they say they are, especially in the police true. department. Well, and but, especially um, with such a close knit, like all six of them. People. <laughs> they know. And it's like, it basically it's all one family, a couple, like a couple of other stragglers. <laughs> oh yeah. Which when you having... gotta pull strings, you gotta pull strings to save the woman you love. I mean, <laughs> that's what all the books are about. You gotta find them. <laughs> I could not read that. It literally hurt me, Brie. It hurt me. <laughs> I feel like for you, Nicole, because I know you, like you literally won't read out of publication order. So I think it killed a small part of your soul. It did. You'll have to um, go back and reread them. Oh, you're doing it now. Never mind. Yeah, I'm doing it now. First two books. The first one is called Federal Agent Under Fire. I'm showing and the set. That. Oh, there you yeah. go. And the second <laughs> one is The Sheriff's for, Secret. I was looking back for Shannon's comment. <laughs> Let me just tell you. Um, hope mom and dad, if you're watching, please turn to the debate at this point. But West's <laughs> body is what I want. <laughs> you haven't got there yet, but yes. But yes. <laughs> I mean, it's very similar to Cole, but there are tattoos. Yeah, the yeah. doubt, I, I believe that. Like, he didn't want to believe, like, his... Yeah. Well, and then she even, or he showed her oh, pictures. Oh, he wished Cole believe her right off the bat. See, I'm glad that he didn't because I'm just like, I know you have, like, you're starting to have feelings for this girl and stuff, but it's just like, I like that he didn't, like, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I like that there was that kind of dynamic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It on, was. If they were actually on the force and it was, like, an inside job, oh, yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> Which is what kind of got me because reading the first two, again, in the character descriptions, they actually tell you who the killer is. So you know from being, I mean, the second one was, there was a stalker involved. So it was pretty clear and obvious. They found out fairly quickly. Um, and then in the first one, you're reading it now. Remind me, do you know who the character description is? I mean, you, like, you meet him. And oh, it's a serial killer. Scene. That's right. So yeah. we already know <laughs> like, who it's going to be for that reason. Yeah. So when they introduced the cop and then there was a deputy jacket, I was like, oh, gosh, like he's going to be the guy. But he was super sweet. So we didn't have to worry about that. I didn't have to worry. Sorry. It took me a while to remember that the serial killer, that first book, man. Oh, I want to read the one me. about Wes, too. Like, I honestly thought that was going to be the first one. But I was just like, OK. <laughs> Not oh, my God. Ben's parents. Again. <laughs> 
They did say they yeah. were going to pop in. <laughs> oh, did they? That's so funny. Yeah. Bitches. <laughs> My dad was going to pick a random page because it's more of a romance type thing and be like, can you believe what happened? And I was like, it's a shorter book, so pick your pages, you know, carefully. <laughs> <laughs> West story is my fave so far. I feel like I'm gonna like Wes a lot, like his story, because I loved him in this in this book. So I'm like, oh, I really is. like you. I really love that. Yeah. I hate when they give the character they give the killer in the character list. That annoys me. Don't I thought it would bother me to be list. honest with you. And then I just couldn't stop reading the character list. For yeah, for category romances, since like yeah, they're a part of the intrigue line. Even though you'll see category romances by. Um, by other authors mm -hmm. um so it's like you don't technically have to read them in order but for this one it is definitely like since it's following one family i i always think like like yes i need to read it in i order. need to read it in order but i will say <laughs> having Just read so. them um yeah you don't they, really have to read each of them in order but i do like that you kind of know the backstory to like the brother and the love interest which is interesting because book four which we're reading next week he gets mentioned like under the radar mm -hmm. in maybe two of the books yeah so i don't know what this guy's gonna be about but i don't know if i can wait until next week so i may be reading ahead of schedule and then next week i might just be struggling to be like wait what happened what who so forgive well, me but i have a problem <laughs> it's you called julianne Lindsay writes amazing books and i can't stop reading problems <laughs> i can't stop reading it <laughs> yes read just read and ignore the debate like honestly just don't even don't even do it <laughs> Do they always give character lists with intrigues or suspense? Uh, suspense. Wow, I can't even talk. Suspense novels generally. Um, I don't know. I don't know that, Sarah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm looking at my even the romantic go, suspense line know. doesn't do it. I've only seen them in the intrigue line. Okay, okay. Yeah, because I've I mean I've read a number of suspense romance, just that particular genre, not necessarily categories, and I've never I've never seen a character list. Oh, there's a character I, list in her other one too. I didn't this read the one. character list. <laughs> I did. I guess I shouldn't to be surprised next time. But at the same time, I'm like, mm, I kind of like knowing and then seeing how like, it's just like, this person's right in front of you. How do you not know? Yes. 100%. It does. That's an excellent problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's definitely the intrigue uh, thing. We're all going to end up in Julie. Yeah, we I'm already there. there. This Let's is the just, group. This you're this in the, the meeting right therapy. now for the addicts group. <laughs> you guys don't know this, but in book two, there's a therapist, so we could be our each other. We could be our group therapy. Yeah. How many people <gasps> read the character list? Yeah, not me. I Hi, Julie. How are Hi, you? <laughs> oh, hold on, my husband is texting me. How He's dare currently... he? Does he not know that we're in the middle of a? Live stream. I was going to say a communication, and then that was just really weird. So I stopped. <laughs> I, didn't I didn't either. Um, and honestly, I typically wouldn't respond back to him, but he's not in the state right now. So oh, re the intrigue right. line has done that since the beginning. Oh, oh well, I'll have to check what I <laughs> I want that. <laughs> Julie sent me a thing, you know, this week just because how she is so sweet. Like, she is the best. I don't I know how honestly, she does you guys, it. I cannot wait for her Christmas card. And she I'm just saying, like, I hope I get a Christmas card. I'm not, like, <laughs> expecting a Christmas card. I'm just saying, I just hope I get one. As, like, all of the books she's trying to fit on there. That's so funny because she I had, know, like, 17 books come out this year. <laughs> that cover was super freaking cute. Oh, yeah. yeah, we do. We have our Harlequin expert. Thank okay, goodness. We need an expert for every series we read because it just keeps us in line. Shannon, you have to be there to keep us straight. I mean, just none of you can leave us, okay? Honestly, You're all committed for every Wednesday for the rest of time. For the rest Unless of if one of our work schedules change and then we'll have to, you know, work at a different time. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what I would do if Shannon wasn't here to keep me in line. <laughs> We'd be giving out wrong information and we would get hate mail. <laughs> I wonder if she can get all the books on there. Yeah, I don't know. There's a lot that she has she, to put on there. I'm like, good luck. <laughs> she had like seven. I think she had yes. to use the audiobook cover to kind of like squish in an area. Yeah, probably. I loved it. I wonder. It's just, I was it like, made me you got your really work cut out for you, miss. Really special that. that I actually have a lot of those books now. Oh, it's okay. It's you all good, Julie. Whenever. Whenever you get on here, we love to see you. Oh, yes, yes. Shannon, you are welcome. <laughs> 
So, um, so another oh, yeah. kind of, another kind of note that I was, um, you have percentages, huh? So we don't know specifically when and where. Um, well, I highlight, I make sure I highlight the full sentence at least. So I know like, but I can tap, like tap on it and then go to the page. Like, oh, no, that's but, yeah. fine. um, I can randomly I just spit in my words here. I don't think you'll have highlighted this. This was more just like a thought that I had because mm -hmm. she's at one of the shops like trying to hide out and she's like, I'll have a bottle of water. And the guy goes $3. And I was like, for a bottle of water? What are we in Europe? <laughs> <laughs> for a bottle of water? <laughs> but then I started thinking about it. And I'm like, you know what? If you do go to any place to buy a bottle of water, usually cold one, depending on how large the bottle is. But in Arizona, I feel like for us, we we are very fortunate in the fact that you know, we live in a desert and water is um, life. So yes, yes. What books did she write first? The Harlequins or Cozy Mysteries? Um, uh, I believe she cozy? wrote Cozies first. first. Yeah. Or was she first... YA because didn't she say last week she had dabbled in YA and then she yes. went to Cozy's yeah. and then she did the Harlequin. Yes, I think I think that is right. Maybe Sorry. we can we can coax Julie and Lindsay to comment. I know she's Julie watching. <laughs> well, she might be watching the debate. They had the bingo last time. I haven't been oh, on. Oh, there she me. is. Sorry. Oh, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for everyone that just blew their eardrums out. My bad. She's here. She's talking to Deja. <laughs> See, like, yeah, like, um, series romance, yeah, 100%. Like, there are things, like, like, like she was saying last week, like, it's very formulaic, and it's sometimes you can, you know, there's things that just happen, but, you know, I love it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm still sorry, Deja. I'm still so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I recently bought Deja Live and Let Chai, so she needs to read that one. <gasps> Everyone has to read that one. I want to reread it so bad. I really want to just start rereading the Cat Got Your Diamond series again. Should we go through all the pen names? So we've got um, Julie Ch Well, we've got her Julia <laughs> Lindsay. We've got, I don't have she's the one, but um, I've got, we've now got the party Julie can Chase. really get started, that's for sure. <laughs> and then we have Jacqueline Frost. Um, and then I don't have it on my bookshelf because I'm terrible and haven't grabbed it out of the box to put it on my Julia and Lindsay shelf, but Brie Baker. <laughs> the book is now. Sarah, oh. you are being <laughs> summoned. <laughs> if anybody, if anybody can help you, it's Sarah. It's Sarah. <laughs> yes. Okay, now I have to put my bookshelf back in order because I had organized it so well. <laughs> I I seriously need to to just do a spreadsheet. I need to do a spreadsheet. It's this is of all the books of all the literal all the books, <laughs> all the pen names, all the books. I and just thought that Julie would be like, is this correct? Yeah. <laughs> Sarah is the queen. Of she really the, is. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you are right. Ooh, um, but uh, the one thing is like, I love that um, when they are in the hotel and. Sorry. You're reiterating the pen names. No problem. <laughs> <gasps> Stacy has a spreadsheet. Oh my God. Stacy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I guess I'll on the Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> I would love a copy if you could be so kind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but I love the one bed trope where they go into the. I would love that. I will. Um, I'll DM you my email address. <laughs> <laughs> I love the one bed trope where they're in the hotel and they only have the one. Bed or we like in, in the his, hotel in this one. In his house. In his yeah. house. Okay, I was like, um, stop getting your books confused, Nicole. Typically, <laughs> it's a hotel room where there's one bed. <laughs> the trope was in the first one, but they're the garrets are so sweet. They are all like, you take the bed, I'll take the couch, and then in each of them, they're like, don't you need to sleep? No, I don't sleep. I'm on the job. <laughs> I know. Was, I know. I was like, mm. and he's like, I don't sleep much because of the military, but then like. While you're here, I'm on duty. I'm just like, okay, sir, you can't, you know, not sleep indefinitely. <laughs> I mean, he took a few Z's in the hospital. Oh, my gosh. The call with Ryan and the description of his, like, 
I don't know your medical, so maybe you have issues with it. But when they were going through like everything that had happened and all the surgeries, I was like, oh my God, is he going to make it out of this? Like, I'm so worried about her brother. <laughs> <laughs> so worried. Yeah, it's, it was pretty extensive. I mean, it is serious when you have spread, spreadsheets. Oh, yeah. I'm just saying. Um, yeah, typically, <laughs> like, medical stuff in books um, doesn't bother me. It's when I'm seeing it, like, on shows, <laughs> that's when medical stuff bothers me because I'm just like, that is oh, so wrong. It's not <laughs> What about the car brakes? Because your husband does all the car stuff. Like, when they were talking about cutting the brakes and, like, the description of it, first of all, mm -hmm. I had no idea that there was liquid that goes to your brakes. <laughs> I thought it was just the stupid little things that close. And I'm going... <laughs> I'm learning so much right now about cars. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. Yeah, they don't sleep. Just walk around exhausted. <laughs> yeah, but they are so confused by my purchases. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly, I like bought like 17 books today. So. <laughs> Well, I don't love about Amazon sometimes is that I'll buy a book or I'll put it in my wish list to watch and then it'll send me an email that goes, hey, I thought of something that you might like and I'm like, you think I like it because it's in my wish list. Like, give me an, a new suggestion. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Sorry. That's my little bit of rant for there. <laughs> I've had a lot Not of Not only copy. great, but educational. That's true. You learn stuff. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, if if Joe, like, actually red stuff like he would feel like but like if there's car stuff like in a tv show or a movie he's just like that's not <laughs> that's not accurate <laughs> her brother like broke everything and then cole saying he saw a look on the doc's face that she had noticed it i was like oh no yeah it's just like he's like he's not waking up and she's like when is he gonna wake up and like i'm like i don't know he's Pretty probably sure. in a coma <laughs> he probably hit all kinds of sides on his face <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, some of them were like the free ones, <laughs> but others were not. <laughs> Careful, oh, you want to buy Cloudy with a chance of me? Seriously, like Goodreads is ridiculous. Like I will like read like a like a suspense romance or like this really like dark romance, and they're like, because you like this book, you should read Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. I'm like, what? What? <laughs> I wonder if you actually read it though, like marked it as read. What would happen? Like, what would it be replaced with? Like, what randomness would come next? Probably cloudy with a chance of meatballs, too. <laughs> <laughs> what if you only rated it one star? Uh, <laughs> I know. Like, mm, I don't like this. Free counts. Free yes. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I get, like, the email where it's just, like, free on Amazon. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so many books are coming out this month. It's in St. October 27th. I have... I think four books coming out. So many. Hold on. Let we me got check my Crazy Bromance. We got oh, Wicked yeah. Kingdom. We've got Dangerous Knowledge by Julianne Lindsay. And I know that is the fourth one because it literally is just like, and they're all going to come separately. You know it too. And I'm just like, yeah. Amazon, can you recognize that I have like 17 orders and put it into one? <laughs> I just bought the first two books in the series because I need to catch up to Jen Jen. Yeah, Jen Jen set the bar really it's high. So good. They're, oh, I, I, it makes me angry that we found out that it was book three last week, but at the same time, like, it's so good, guys. Oh, I guess yeah, there's only three. <laughs> like, I guess there's only three books, but it felt like a million. You already uh, have crazy bromance? Oh, my God. I'm so jealous. Sorry. <laughs> Can I just tell you, that's probably one of the yes. freaking cutest covers ever. I do I that mean, too, Shannon. Hold on. Let me get it pulled up. Ooh, Deja says it's so good. Killing me. Okay, I have to turn down my brightness because otherwise you guys can't see anything. Sure. But look at that cute cover. Yeah. <laughs> the man with a cat. Like you can't not love that cover. <laughs> Bought it instantly. I was questionable about the first two, and then I saw what the third cover looked at, and I was like, one, two, three, added to cart, done. Done. Yeah. Oh, she was talking about uh crazy oh, sorry. romance. That's fine. <laughs> I've been yelling a lot, so I apologize for all of you that have literally had to turn your volume down. I will try and get it um, under, under control. control. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, did you really talk about this yesterday? I'm just like, I love that, though. I mean, it's like, yeah, you have to buy them, but it's not really like you didn't really buy them. They're free. It's like, so even if you didn't like them, if you don't like them, it's like you didn't waste any money. True. Just your time. <laughs> Toe beans. <laughs> 
Cat Tobin's are the cutest. So many books. I'm, I, I just have to say that I'm really proud of the fact that if anyone's going to get me to read a physical book, it would have been Julianne Lindsay. The fact that I got three in a row, like, miracle. Way to go, Julianne Lindsay. Way to <laughs> go. A lot of people just like the second book, but I really liked it, too. I related to the MC, even though people said she was mean and blunt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're talking about Bromance Book Club? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> no, I love the second one. I feel like they get better each time. Need more. I was like, fog. And then she's like, dog. Dog. <laughs> I was thinking, and then frogs. And I was like, like a uh, princess kissing a frog to make a prince? Dogs. Got it. Dogs. We but are. dogs don't make good cozy mystery cover. Oh, actually, hold on. Um, Excuse me. That's hold a on. lie. Hold on. Where's I'm the book that find... I just got? Oh, no. Those are two cats. You know what I just realized? In these ones, they're ginger cats, and I feel like last week she said she has two ginger cats, and now I'm wondering if they're based on her dogs. <laughs> or her cats. <laughs> and I was like, her dogs? You literally just said, hold on, let me see. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, all the dogs are surrounding me. Wait, I no, no, I know. There's one on Cat Got Your Crown. No, it's not. Yeah, no, it's, it's a fake dog on that one. It's a fake dog. That's a fake dog on that one, too. Hold on. I know there's one with it. Why are there just... Oh my god, guys. I keep listening to Here the romance series for the Russian. <laughs> there is a The there is Russian a is freaking hilarious. Every Sorry, other cover has a dark dog. A dark I feel like every co cover has a cat. Well <laughs> I got this one. Hold on, let me let me get it. I was like, okay, so now we're just gonna go through all of them because I've gotta go back. And then there's this dog here. There it is. It's a little stuffed figure. She can't hear us, so I'm just gonna keep going. And then there's this dog here. There we go. In the window. And then in Cat Got Your Crown, there's this cute little stuffed dog down here. Oh, it's a stuffed dog. I adopted cat dogs, right? Oh, that's so, so freaking cute. cute. Oh my gosh. And in this one, I love that how they are gonna oh. make a memorial. Um, I thought that was really gonna come back into play with like who was the killer. Um, <laughs> I guess the art didn't get the memo. <laughs> <laughs> I did, oh my God, I love the cider shop ones, just so you're aware. They're and Julie, weeks. that's really, I love Shannon, she's great. The Russian <laughs> is the favorite character. He's hilarious, you gotta clear out that bathroom though. Very careful, don't want any Doggy cheese near him. Cat people, we all want more of what we love, that's sure. But I just got this one where it's like saddle with murder, and I was like, Look at this Oh, that is cute. Coffee. I was like, This is the cutest cover. I love it. <laughs> that's so nice. Furry God, my all of them. So, yeah, I am yeah. so true. <laughs> there Never are other ones. dogs. Never noticed the dogs, proved me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like you're focusing on the cat because it's the title, but well, and it's me. So if there's a cat on the cover, I'm literally like kitty. <laughs> I get so excited. I'm trying to think of another one that I've had recently. Yeah, like literally all of them. <laughs> Look, even in this one, there's a cat. Wait, hold yep. on. Pa pow. Pa pow. And then in this one. I got all my, I'm, they're all starting to come in, guys. I did buy, like, a million of them, so this one. Go. <laughs> I can't wait for you guys to read that series, too, because that's amazing. I know, December. Now I've got to put them back in order. Okay. <clears throat> you have secrets, Cash. Was Cash before Secrets? No, Cash was three. Okay, never mind. Sorry. My bad, guys. My bad. Fair Godmother is an equal animal love. Yes. Yes. She does make costumes. <laughs> Cindy Lou Who. <laughs> so cute. So uh, my next post Back it, to the book. post it, but highlight because yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, what was he thinking, kissing her like that, letting the heat of the moment burn through his professionalism? I was like, she said yes. I mean, come on. You literally asked. He like said her name like as a question, like asking for permission, and <laughs> she said yes. I mean, come on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Furry Godmother does love all the animals. No I think or chickens on the cover. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm sorry cool. I'm trying to watch this debate it too because it's actually a conversation and oh, not a screaming nice. match. Oh my gosh. That's a surprise. Stay educated. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think I posted note of that same section and I was like, get it, girl, because she he like grabbed her and I was like, do it, do it. But before that, when he was like, pack a bag and let thing let's go. So this was before what, the one that you were dead. I was like, is he prepared to be a cat dad so soon? <laughs> <laughs> he loves cats though, right? I was all for it. He didn't have any cats in this book. But he liked cats. He likes that he like she took the time to um that's they got a babysitter for the cat, okay, but. <laughs> Missed opportunities. Llamas and chickens on the cover. No, Maybe but she's saying, the... like, he actually liked that she went and, like, fed the stray cats. Like, yeah. he doesn't have to have cats to like animals. Oh, that's what I was going to say earlier. But at the very end, how they were going to make, like, the first place was going to be a cat shelter or an animal yeah. shelter. And I was oh. like, that was so sweet. That is so... I was like, oh, my God, yes. Awesome. Like, that needs to be built first, and then you need to catch all the cats to, like, so when there's building going on, that they're safe. Uh, so, uh, my next highlight is, like, no signs of concussion, despite the temporary loss of consciousness after being clocked on the head with that hunk of the flaming hull. And I was like, I swear, like, almost every single person <clears throat> in a Julie and Lindsay book gets hit on the head at some point. And I'm like, how come oh, nobody, God. nobody has a concussion after they get hit on the head <laughs> in your book? I'm like, I get a concussion by breathing too hard. And these <laughs> people get literally hit by flying debris and they do not get a concussion. <laughs> I'm like, oh not my fair. gosh. <laughs> yeah, when they were, when they found the bomb, I go, and they're like, it's counting down. And he goes, move your ass before I throw you overboard. I'm like, why are you throwing the bomb overboard? <laughs> <laughs> It's like somebody's got to have a concussion. Somebody. Somebody. <laughs> and oh, I love man. the next part where he's like, he'd become the one in need of rescue. Rita had saved Cole's life. Damn it. I was like, oh, is your oh. ego bruised? Poor baby. <laughs> yeah. I was dying good. laughing. I was like, <laughs> hey, like she's saving you too. You save each other. It's fine. <laughs> He's a macho man, so I got it. Because concussion <laughs> victims are, but that's true. They can't do anything. I can attest to that. <laughs> I also oh, like gosh. how Cole went to medical school and then dropped out. Yes, I feel like all of these brothers, they were like, they were going to go to something else. Like, like he was going to medical school to be a doctor. And he's like, mm, I, as soon as I got my degree, I was like, no, I'm going to go be a I'm gonna go be a cop. I'm like, oh, my gosh. It's in, it's in their blood. It's in their blood. It's in their blood. It's a family trait. I love that too. I was just like, okay, they're being like really familiar with each other. I was like, okay, it could be like small town. They all know each other. But then um, he's like, Uncle Henry. I was like, that's so adorable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's oh, okay, no. Stacey. The uncle should get the uncle. Yes. Well, there's Ooh. four brothers and there's four books so far. And I wonder, like, are we going to get Spin one off. from De Deputy? I'm going to butcher his name, Lamar, Lamar, Lamar. But the uncle would be a great one, too. Unless if he's already with someone. But I didn't, from the books that I've read, I don't feel like that has happened. Yeah. I know the dad is married. They're super cute. <gasps> Rougarou. That's Duchess. Duchess. <laughs> How dare you, girl. <laughs> that is Duchess. I'm trying to imagine paying off medical school loans on a deputy. <laughs> True. Oh, oh my god! I'm like, mm, I made a mistake. Let me just do. <laughs> Was he the one that went to Stanford? He might have had a scholarship. Oh yeah, maybe. I know one of these brothers went to Stanford. Oh. I was very interested in the uncle. Yes, I need more Uncle Henry. <laughs> well, where she's no, killed her hopes. <laughs> oh, the, uh, no. We can imagine our own story. <laughs> I like that too. I like it. Yeah. I like it. Because sometimes, sometimes, like, I love me some alpha heroes, but sometimes they need to be put in check. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> but I, I really it. liked Bull. I was, I was his number one fan. And he was like, like how he was <clears> angry <throat> with himself for being hurt. <laughs> It's like I was, and he's like, I wasn't angry with you. I was disappointed in myself. You needed me to protect you, and I failed. And she's like, you were hit with the fiery hull of an exploding boat. It's not like you were home watching the game. The game. <laughs> that was like, like the yes, best give line. yourself a break. Like for the love. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like all the intrigues. It's like I think someone called Cole Stanford. Stanford. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure if it was him. Yeah. 
All intrigues are like four book series. Okay, all right. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. There will have to be fanfic. <laughs> Another there story. There you go. Yes. We've got Either, too much like, work for her. She's got all her other books, and now we're like, fanfic, please. <laughs> She's going to be writing books for the next 10 years, and I love it. <laughs> I'm there for it. <laughs> Man, I'm so there for it. <laughs> when they go see um, that girl in IT in the hospital to look at the cameras Grace. and they're talking about her corkscrew uh, ponytail and mm -hmm. she was like um, she talked about like her name was like I think like hi my name is Katie or something and I was like no your name is Felicity oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like she's just like there with her ponytail and glasses and she's just like flying over the keyboard and doing all else. it's like you're Felicity like don't even <laughs> And then I love how at one point he's like, I'm going to need you to go ahead and zoom in on that person's face so we can get a better picture. And she's like, this, this is a hospital. Like, this is all we've got. <laughs> yeah, this is what you see is what you get. Like, this, like, this is what it, this is it. Those, these first four intrigues were me guinea pigging it. I used to cry to my agent about how I was way out of my death, but she oh, kept I me going. Oh, I love them so much. They're You're doing crazy. great, Julie. Don't, don't, don't stop. stop. <laughs> I will read all of them. <laughs> Why do I type like all the time? I notice that off. Same. Don't you hate it when you notice yourself saying it and then you have to figure out like literally any other way to say the word like without saying it? I do that. Yeah. IT girl was my favorite. Oh, yeah. Yep. I was like, yep, she does. She needs her own story too. We have another <laughs> request. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> I mean, she could like she could be with one of the <clears throat> brothers. We don't know yet. <laughs> there, no, wait. I have it here. Okay. I'm messing up my Julia Lindsay thing. You messing up, bro. There was a former fiance. Former. It was not the IT lady. Who's the next one? That's yeah, unfortunate. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, friends. <laughs> um. The okay, like this is the next couple of highlights. It was getting spicy, like in this, in this. I was, I was like, like yes, I'm I was... here for it. I was like, this is what we need in the cozies. Like there needs to be X-rated cozy mysteries immediately, please, <laughs> or like a bonus scene. Like Julie and Lindsay, can we have like bonus scenes? Like I don't know. <laughs> That would be awesome. <laughs> but yeah, I was like, can we get like a full romance now? Like, let's get away from the intrigues. Can we do like a full romance? Because I would like to see where that was going. <laughs> yes. I needed more. <laughs> yes, I would love Sorry. it. I'm always, no, I'm always, I'm always for more on page. There, I know there's nothing. Oh, yeah, man, you are. I hate it like when it fades to black or if it's off page. I'm just like, no, I need it. It's one of my post it <laughs> notes where I was like, come on, why did you stop there? I mean, I know why you stopped there, but it killed a part of my soul. And like a typical <laughs> man, he was so proud of himself for giving her some orgasms. I'm like, you're so one and two. One, one and two. <laughs> Those are his. And I love how <laughs> when um, they drop, so we're cozy after dark. Yes. <laughs> uh, the desire of. <gasps> historical Sorry. line or the desire line if you want kind of more spiciness on page the nocturne line or the blaze line are damn you blaze we're going away <laughs> yes the blaze line is the more is spicy the spice line. <laughs> all right all right yes, spicy or the nocturne because you know the paranormal stuff is yeah you can't have a shifter series without you know like some faded mates going on and <laughs> 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 like, I'm just going to drink from here. <laughs> yes, yes. So when they were dropping, um, oh, dare, yes. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Blaze is R.I.P., oh. but it's not like they didn't have hundreds of titles. Now, that's true. true. Like, if you, find, if you find them, yeah, definitely get them because <laughs> the Blaze line is no longer. They can't be spicy. But I, I feel like with the, I feel like, the blaze or the nocturne line was just like a little, it's like a little bit more, a little bit more than the other lines. I'm a sucker for historical. We already know that. Mm -hmm. The bare wrist with the, you know, <laughs> the thumb touch and you're just like, oh, dang. Or like when they touched. hold hands, when they, when they help her into the carriage and she's not wearing any gloves. I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Be like you. You have been ruined. Oh. Your reputation is out the window. <laughs> you can be ruined. <laughs> 
<laughs> just grab him into the carriage at this point. <laughs> he cannot touch your bare flesh. <laughs> There feels mostly alpha and very mm, mm, yes mm. blaze and nocturne allow for a few extra things <laughs> love <laughs> it i love the extra things all right so sorry, your next the, one. no it's fine the whole <laughs> thing where they have to drop off the decoy pen uh, because they said drop off the pen at this time or you know somebody oh my god i have a feeling <laughs> that this your your post-it is gonna be the same as mine go i was just like it's like no someone had wanted rita out in the open and this was a plot to get the get rid of the last witness i was like thanks for catching up with the class cole <laughs> like <laughs> i knew this <laughs> do you have anything else on that page i'm i'm gonna be uh, shocked if you don't no i don't, I don't all anything. right so this go is ahead. when the shots fired um and Cole goes, uh, like, run straight to the truck. And I was like, zigzag. Hashtag R.I.P. Rick and Stark. <laughs> zigzag. Like, don't run straight. Zigzag. <laughs> and I was like, from a military perspective, I feel like he should have been the first one to be like, move in, like, erratic patterns. Because I was sure, like, they, she, um, at one point, they had mentioned, uh, like, a bullet had gotten really close to them. And I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, if you're running in a straight line, they just have to, like, line up their shot, and then you're gone. So true. Yeah, Sorry. so if you're... If you're ever getting shot at, people zigzag. Zigzag. Makes it harder to uh, get you, for sure. I mean, they might still get you, but you have a better chance. <laughs> you have a better chance. <laughs> so <laughs> Sorry, that was my, one of my last post-its. But I, I, I literally, as soon as, the, as he yelled, run straight to the car, I was like, oh, my God, Nicole is going to say zigzag. So if, because you were on that page, I was like, she's got to say it. Nope. Oh. Definite, definite zigzag. <laughs> the pen drop. Oh my gosh, that was so intense. And then, and oh. then with the car, and she was just like, no, in the car, we got hit. And I was like, they got hit. And then the car started backing up. He's like 20 feet. And then they went and they came at me again. I was like, they came at you again? Yeah. I couldn't handle Honestly, it. Honestly, <laughs> I was so surprised. Like that first hit didn't like send them flying. But now it's like, no, it didn't do that. You got Went on it. two so, wheels and then came back down. I was like, when like they literally got hit the first time, and he's like, he's like amazingly not unconscious, and he's like Rita. She was slumped against the passenger door, unmoving and cover covered in pebbles of busted glass. Rita, I was like, girl, okay, literally hit his side of the vehicle, and you're unconscious. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> She's. <laughs> She's 140 pounds of pure sarcasm. She's got nothing left for her. <laughs> oh. I was listening to some of this on text to speech. That's true. I did oh. that too. Drop of the pen. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> that just made 20 times better. <laughs> oh, I know. Like sometimes when I'm doing that text to speech, I'm like, what did they say? <laughs> Oh, so funny. They just kicked it up a notch. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And literally, like, when the, the vehicle finally went over, he's, like, he's knocked out. She comes to first. Um, and, like, he, she's like, help. <laughs> she's being pulled from the vehicle. I was like, he's out of it. He cannot help you. <laughs> you got to kick the fight. Like one get him in. <laughs> Oh, she said, "Why are you dropping?" <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, how did you drop it? Like, isn't it like attached? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. And um, this is my last post it, and then Julie actually commented on it on Goodreads. And it's, he was saying, up you go. He jammed his shoulder into her ribs and tipped her over like a sack of potatoes. Stop, Rita screamed and kicked, realizing her plan to slow him down by being still was foiled by her small size. I'm like, this is why you always have dessert. So it makes it harder for you to be kidnapped. <laughs> if you're chunky, if you're chunky, it's harder for them to carry you off. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, Julie liked that one, and I'm just like, that's why I always have dessert. I tell you. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> always have that slice of cake. Always. 
it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was my last post-it note. Yeah, I really, I really love this book. I really, really did. And um, I'm almost done. <laughs> Dessert is defense. <laughs> 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 Put that on a mug. I'll yes, buy it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, <clears throat> so yeah, I am. I think I'm about like two thirds. I have like an hour and a half left um, in the Kindle. <laughs> the Federal Agent Under Fire. Yeah. So I am um, planning on finishing that tonight, and also starting um, the Sheriff's Secret. The Sheriff's Secret. That was a good. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really excited to read that one because I love I need, West so I need much. Some, I need some West, you know. I need some West. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I loved it. It was like I loved it. It's great, Julianne Lindsay. Don't ever stop, stop. writing. Don't, don't do it. Do it. Don't do it, please. Nope. <laughs> I was like, we will all fund you. Just don't stop. <laughs> I will literally, I will literally fund it. Yes. Yes. Honey. Oh, he's laying right behind me. <laughs> he keeps well, that means you just have to stay here for forever because now you can't move. Son, what are you doing? Oh, he's trying to get his toy. That's what he's doing. He's like nudging me out of the way and he's because he's trying to get under the desk for the toy. <laughs> he's like, I'm going to be crafty about this, Mom. <laughs> not like there's three other toys surrounding you. But it's not so, that one. It's not that one that he wants. I almost started watching Arrow the other day because I was like, I missed this. I want the salmon ladder. <gasps> yes. Oh, my God. Yeah. I loved, like, in those first couple episodes of Arrow, um, he did the salmon ladder in every single episode, and I just loved it. I missed okay. it when they took it away in, like, season two, and I was like, how dare they do this to us? <laughs> okay, get out get of there. It. Yeah, he got it. <laughs> I'm like, oh, come on. <laughs> I was like, he's not going to stop until he gets it. So True, true. Is Joe liking Teen Wolf? He's loving Teen Wolf. He loves it. It's great. Uh, we're on. You're past the episode with the tissues where we found out. <laughs> there's no tissues in the room. There's literally like a there's whole box behind you. I love that. He like brings out a whole roll of toilet paper and he's like, I don't have any tissues. And there's literally a box on his freaking nightstand. I was like, um. Uh, Salmon ladder, yes. I went down the Julian Lindsay rabbit hole. I we Ditto. all did. Yes. Ditto. <laughs> it's a great got it's a great rabbit hole to be down. <laughs> they gotta get they had to get those ratings up, Shannon. Like and the one way that they did it was Stephen Amell shirtless and they knew what they had and they worked with it and they did it. <laughs> and they always like dangle it in front of you too, because you always like even through like seasons two and three, you're like, they've gotta bring it back. Like I've gotta stick it through for that episode where they do it. Yep. You're like no, sitting there wondering, is this going to be the episode with the salmon ladder? Yeah. 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 Oh, For yeah. sure. I mean, it <laughs> worked. I mean, was, I mean, I watch it for the plot. I mean. They're all six of them. Yeah. All that. <laughs> uh, excuse me. He has an eight pack. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I mean, it is. I mean, I do. I mean, I liked the, I really liked Arrow. So. You said four shorts, and I heard Thor, and now I really want to watch oh. Chris Hemsworth. Which is another absolutely Rico. amazing. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not a bad thing, you know? It's like, that's why, I, like, we just spent the rest of the year just, we're just going to read Julie and Lindsay. And Give I us feel time like... to acquire some of the early ones, because they are harder to find. I have discovered that. Yep. That's why I got these ones. I got these uh, three on um, the Kindle. Kindle. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. On the Kindle. I was able to find one and two um, through <laughs> Amazon Books, their used bookstore. So oh, okay. they're making their way. They're just not here yet. Because it's they, not, they don't, do they, they have the prime shipping though, right? Mm hmm yeah. yeah, for those ones. But they gave you like a time frame of a week. So it's next week. Um, and then I did the same thing with the Geek Girl series because I finally found a couple of them. And I was like, oh, these look like they're actually, they say like the like new condition. So I'm like, yes. well, not going to let these ones, you know, run away. You can't. You got to snag them when you can. Snag them when I can because I'm sure we're going to read them next year. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. A hundred percent. 
And if you want to know uh, the schedule for the rest of the year, it is down in the description box, I think. Yeah, a couple of them are on uh, Hoopla. So those of you that yep. have Hoopla, I know that that one, and then also I think it was her first cozy mystery series, the one with the, the beach. Why can't I, think I, think, I can see the covers. There's three of them. I think the Geek Girl was her first into cozies, but. Um, oh. Well, then what's the one with the beach? Like Murder Ashore with the body on the, yeah. the same. I really like those covers. I would really like those, like in the physical copies. Mm -hmm. My mm -hmm. library has had, I think, everything nice on nice. ebook. Love it. Which is a struggle for me because I'm so used to audiobooks. So this one, I'm just like, I have to actually plan my time. Which, as we saw from today, I didn't plan it well enough. <laughs> as you read I'm three sorry. books. I'm sorry. As you read history. three books, the Patient Price Mysteries. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Those are my first attempts at okay. Christmas. Got it. Got it. But yeah, I'm excited. The uh, Canadian library there. For do you guys have the same library? That's oh my cool. gosh, they have great tea. I think uh, they think they both have posted about. I think it's David's tea. Yes, all the flavors look amazing, and I was like, do they come in just like single serves, or is that tea box that you get? Is it like multiple ones? Sorry, I know that this is like tangent at this point, but mm -hmm. I just I kind of need to know. <laughs> I need to know about the tea that y'all have been posting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Good, good. Good, 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 good. Oh, yeah. The, the, the Canadian Library, the Toronto Library. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, Toronto isn't Canada, but yeah, we got to be specific. The Canadian Library. <laughs> it's like the difference I'm sure between the Glendale and Phoenix. One library in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Kim. Yes. yes. She said the, the patients, the patients' price mysteries were first attempts at cozies. David's tea is the best. Yeah, all those flavors look phenomenal. Ooh, so, 12 loose leaf options. And the uh, okay, spinner is a serve. single serve bag. Okay. Yeah, because I see him, like, she posts every day about which one she's drinking today. And I'm like, these all sound fantastic. <laughs> yes, you are. You are the center of the universe, Sarah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Is there anything in this book that we didn't go over that you want to talk about? Anything? Anyone? Any, any of the brothers that you're looking forward to? Brother number four, who's a mystery in books th one, two, and three are um, next week. I can't wait to figure out, so I may end up just, yes. Christmas advent calendar. Probably with the David's tea, I'm thinking. Oh, oh got it, got it, got it. Got it. I might have to look into that. West. Yeah. Make yep. sure you earn for a it's a good one. I cannot wait. Oh the man. Public library has a oh. That's a lot of branches. It's like a whole I tree. Have a lot of library. <laughs> <laughs> they, have of, they have a whole grove. <laughs> Son he brings me the toy and I don't think and then I go to throw it and I was like, You can't play right now. I'm so sorry. You can't play. Then just set it on the desk. I just, I throw it kind of directly into his mouth. <laughs> and then he's like, here you go, Mom, I got it for you. <laughs> I, got, I got it now. <laughs> there you go, baby. Yeah, he's not. It sucks when I'm not here during the day because he just mm -hmm. runs around like a freak, I'm sure. And that's why he's limping. Poor little bug. He's been limping for the last two days. I still haven't mm. gone to Advent Con before. I think I wore this year. They forgot. I forgot they did Halloween stuff. Huh? Yeah, some of the chai ones. Oh, there was one the other day that just was like, it hit it. the spot. Just, I could smell it in my my mind just by the description. I was like, I need this. <laughs> I mean, I want to drink all the teas because they do sound yummy delicious, but it's like, it's still getting over 100 degrees here, people. It was only like 95 when I went to go um, come in here. But it did reach 104. It was yeah. 58 this morning. This is what I don't understand. How can it be 58? The butterscotch chai, I think, was one of them. Sorry. Just it came up on the back, and I was like, that might that have been it. That sounds delicious. <laughs> well, I'm going to write that down because I will forget. Oh, yeah. But, oh, yeah. 
I don't know what I was saying. <laughs> that it was 58 degrees this morning. Oh, yeah. It's 58 degrees in the first early morning. It's like 630, 58 degrees. And then by 3 o'clock, it's 105. Like, how mm -hmm. do you have such a drastic temperature distance difference in one day? It's because we live in the desert. I know. We don't mind when you play with your pup. <laughs> I mean, he looks so cute and I want to play with him, but he can't. He's injured. It does. It sounds amazing. That's why I worked. Mm hmm Yes. Get it. Get it. We're all going to get it. We're all going to be drinking butterscotch try next week. David C. <laughs> <laughs> we may have to pay ridiculous shipping, but it sounds like it's worth it. <laughs> Sorry, I had my 13 years having a meltdown. Oh, no. no. Everything is a disaster in the end of the world when you're 13. Oh, yeah. I my remember My so far is the car. Whoa, 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 whoa. Carmen? French toast. <laughs> that sounds delicious. Now I want brunch. Oh, yeah. I always have French toast when I go to brunch. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> 49 Ooh. Fahrenheit for the high today. Alaska. <sighs> it's cold. When do you guys start getting into the negatives? I mean, I feel like that's that like extra cold. terrible. That just I'm pretty much awful. Anything that goes below 70, I'm not a fan just because I don't feel like I can ever warm up again. And I don't like feeling cold. But I, I wear these is like it. perfect weather. Oh. I like Twang's spiced apple chai. Yum. Yeah, just be fully prepared when we talk about apple cider slaying and the pulp friction. I will be drinking um, apple cider. Just so. well, I'm down for it. <laughs> They might have it in what? the U.S. They closed the stores, but they might have have it shipped from the U.S. the U.S. Do you All think right. maybe Amazon? Possibly. Amazon has everything, but let's see if we I can know. find it from the seller first. <laughs> That's true. It's like it sucks that we're like just ingrained in our brains to go to Amazon for everything, and it's like let's they make support. It uh huh. It was but I do here like... forty five in the morning. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> it's as exciting as intrigue. <laughs> 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 the Irish breakfast is so good. I love me a good Earl Grey, though. Especially an Earl Grey tea from, latte. From the Ooh. U.S. to the U.S. That makes it very easy. Thank you so much, though. The tea company isn't going to understand the sun sales. <laughs> they're like, oh, my yeah. God. Half of it's good. Like, seriously, they're not going to. But I'm sure they. That's why we got to oh, gotta make sure we tag them in, like, our posts. Like, All of our stuff. Reading the book while we're drinking, you know. <laughs> Maybe we'll get some merch. <laughs> Fairbanks <laughs> has way more below zero. We might Ooh. have a few weeks of below zero, but it's not a lot. Okay. How do you survive? I don't know. If it, anything was below <laughs> I zero, I so would cold. leave. I would. Oh, man. I think it's probably like us where if it's over 110, it doesn't matter what the number is. It could be 120. It could be 125. But at that point, like, it's just hot. So I wonder yeah. if it's the same thing where it's just, it's cold. It's just it makes cold. Me it doesn't get any cold. Of the day after tomorrow, and now I really want to watch National Treasure, which I know is two separate movies. But the start <laughs> like, of National what? Treasure starts in a boat in the Arctic, and I had thought about oh, that earlier it. today. I was like, I really want to watch National Treasure. And I'm like, if I watch this movie, I am not finishing this book. So I had to behave. Yeah, you did. I'm writing down these teas. Sorry. Oh yeah, Cooper Sweet Tea. Okay. Brassy. The live Love show. It. There you go. Yeah, yeah. They do have an apple cider flavor. I will have to say, mm, yes, I love it. I'm for it. <laughs> it's, <100%. laughs> it's a taste test. Ooh, yeah. Sounds like a Yep, yep. I don't think we go below zero until December. All right. Oh. We never get below zero. I think it was like a shock a couple of years ago when it hit like 19 degrees for a couple mornings in a row. And I remember my dad went out with the hose and he would like put a thin layer of water in our, in our, um, uh, not garage, but in our driveway. And then he got it to the point where it was like a nice little ice rink on one of the squares. Oh my so God. we actually had our own little makeshift ice rink. Which was hysterical and didn't last for more than like a day. <laughs> oh no! Like as soon as the sun comes out, it's gonna be it's gonna get melted. Oh yeah, sweet yeah. and spicy is the best. Did put the heat on last? You put the heat on. I'll send I the heat got, your way. I still got the AC going. I'm just like it's so hot. Yep. Nine degree nine 
like a single nine degrees Celsius? I think that that for some reason I want to say Celsius to Fahrenheit is something about twenty eight. Like you have to add twenty eight or something. Hold on. Siri knows. De uh, so, uh, it would help if I could spell. So, oh, what is that? Siri, how many degrees Fahrenheit is nine degrees Celsius? It's 42 degrees or 48 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, Sarah got it. Oh, Sarah didn't read anything. 48. For me. It's a, double it and add 30. Double oh. it and add 30. 18, 40. Oh my gosh. 48. 40. 14. Yeah, that works. Ah, oh, so it was is double it and then add 30. Okay. I'm gonna remember that for next time. I'm not I'm not gonna remember. I'm gonna say I'm gonna try to remember it for next time, but I'm a I spent six memory. years working with Americans. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm, so I'm just so on sorry. behalf of all of America, I apologize. <laughs> Americans. <laughs> Ooh, a formula. There you go. Uh, oh, I'm not gonna Are you putting on a post-it note now too? <laughs> I should. Okay. <laughs> so when everyone we're doing temperatures later. So then how are we going to go from fair? Can you do from Fahrenheit to Celsius or would you have to divide? So you would subtract 30 then, and then you would divide it by two. No. So if it's a hundred degrees here, you'd subtract 30, which would give no. you to 70 and then divide no. it by two. That would be 35. So 35 degrees Celsius would be a hundred degrees Fahrenheit. Did I do that right? Did I math? <laughs> I'm going to go with yes. <laughs> no. I love math. Devil child. Devil child. <laughs> <laughs> Minus yeah, 30 divided by two. <laughs> Shannon's got me right. What is, this, what is this division? Get out of here. She said sounds right. <laughs> sure. That math works. Jen, Jen, math. <laughs> I I will tell you, I recently went through a lot of stuff when I was, um, for, I had a box of just like memory stuff. And so my parents saved like literally every piece of schoolwork I had ever done. So I had all my math papers in there and social studies and history and all the fun stuff. Um, but I excelled at math. Every, el every other subject I was hit or miss on, on each project. But the math I had, I was always a math girl. I don't like it. You did well in math, too. That doesn't mean I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> Numbers don't lie. That's the thing. Unless if you do your math wrong and then, you know, know. everything's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> operator but error. That, that's operator error. That's not math's error. <laughs> that's not math's error. I can oh. start, like, just hissing. I'm like... <laughs> Now I want to watch Aristocats. Thanks, Nicole. You're welcome. <laughs> math. Math is the best. Hey, um, I do have to, like, math will have a special place in my heart because that's how I met my husband. We had the same math class. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you pretend that you didn't have your math book and you had to share it every day. Sure did. I remember the story. Yay! Because <laughs> mama didn't raise no fool. That is like, that is the tale. Noise, noise. All right. Anything else that we want to talk about? Um, I don't know. Why is there not a lady on this cover? Like, I'm, I'm not, sure. I'm not opposed to the man. He's a very nice looking man, but very there nice should be a lady man. on the cover. Like this one had a lady on the cover, and the they first two have a lady on it. Yeah. Uh huh. For sure. Let's see. There's a lady on this one. Yep. There's a lady on this one. Yep. There's an angry lady on this one. Angry lady on this one. She's she looks angry. So serious. She's so seductive. I don't know. I don't know how to smolder. <laughs> I don't know how to smolder. I don't know how to smolder to save my life. So we'll just this is supposed to go there. Oh. So don't. funny. So yeah, next week. Next week. We find out about the fourth mysterious brother. Miss so mysterious. Ryder. I wanted to call him Riker, but I'm like, that's X-Men. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. the four, uh, October 14th. I met my boyfriend. That's so Canada. cute. That's a, you didn't date until... What? <laughs> <laughs> that's oh, so that's funny, true. though. 
I don't think authors get a lot of say about covers. Um, that's true, unless you kind of work it out in your contract. But I um, yeah, no. sway over the titles. Then I'm curious now. I like the formula you're using. Love for oh, okay, we're back. Yep. Then multiply by five. What? That's way too complicated. Then divide by you guys nine. So much better. Stop it. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah's way is much better. <laughs> Divide by nine. I'm just oh, trying to think hobby. of mine. That's so adorable. You met your hubby online too? Each other. <laughs> oh. Ryder is. is so mysterious. Like they mentioned him like twice in the whole series. The 14th is the day you're moving. Oh no. no. You could take a break from moving or you could end sure. the day with us. Yes. <laughs> That sounds like new math, like that common yeah. core math. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm, not, I'm not for the new math. <laughs> On a blind date? Oh, my gosh. Oh. Next week. Yes. We don't deserve you, Shannon, but thank you. Don't, don't, don't ever leave us. Me. Don't ever leave us. <laughs> the MVP. Thank you, ma'am. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I hope the move goes well, too. Because yes, Alicia. moving sometimes can be very stressful. Oh, yeah. And moving all the books. <laughs> I can never leave this house. Let's just say that. Can never leave. <laughs> I wonder like how many boxes you actually have of books. Because I know that you had to like box up enough so that you could install them, but you still didn't have enough space. So yeah. I think when I stopped when I stopped using boxes um, and went to totes, it was like at like thirteen medium size Home Depot boxes, and then I used about six or seven totes. Mm. Your early eHarmony success stories. Aww. That's really cool, though. That is wonderful. Shannon keeping us informed. She is. 100%. Yay, you're playing on the Sometimes you just need a break. Need a little break. boxes of books. She might have beat you. <laughs> she is. Shannon, you're so helpful. Oh, yeah. 18. Oh. boxes from Shannon. I have never tried to put my box, my books in boxes, but there are there are probably going to be at least a dozen, <laughs> if not more. Chris is ready to read the next book. Yeah, I may or may not wait. I'm. That I is your choice. Find it very difficult to leave a world, and I mean this one would be easy just because we don't know a lot about this brother. But I cannot leave. Is it Cape County? Is that what they call Cade. it? Cape County. I need it. I need it. I love how I transformed you into a Julianne Lindsay stan. Oh, yeah. Now we're going back. There's no way. <laughs> you couldn't pay me enough to say something bad about her. No, it's not possible. It's not possible. It would literally break me. <laughs> All right, everyone. I think we're going to wrap it up for the night. Ooh, see why? Yeah, there you go. See why I'm single. Because you have <laughs> you have. Just books. I mean, all the books. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bonus points if you want to go back and read unofficial book one and two, federal. Yes. That's what you I'm going to do. I'm going to finish Federal Agent Under Fire and then I'm going to read The Share of Secret. Share of Secret is so good. I don't know if I like Westmore or if I like Coldmore. I'm in this one because it has cats in it. I feel like it's a pretty good, strong one, but West. I will, Stacey. I will. I think I I think I follow you on Facebook or do I follow you on Instagram too? I'll find you. Well, I, I see you. I, do not underestimate my ability to find Stop. people. I cuz I know I I see you. I think I see you um on Facebook because you also uh follow Julianne Lindsay on Facebook. Mm -hmm. So Good luck with the move. Yes. Good luck with the move, Alicia. Sorry, I read Thank ahead of you. you. I'm really terrible. <laughs> Thanks, oh, everybody. you're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid act. <laughs> well, we love you. I live for Wednesdays. Let me just tell you, like, it has become my favorite day of the week. I don't know about you guys, but it's literally my favorite day of the week. It is. You won't regret it, Alicia. I promise you. <laughs> you don't. You won't. You will not regret it. I promise. No, they're phenomenal. They just get better. <laughs> 
so much fun. I love all of you. Thank you so much. You have a wonderful night, and we'll see you next week, okay? See you next week, everybody. Bye.